What's going on, you guys? Chef Chris with Jigs Overboard Fishing. And instead of going fishing today, we're gonna do some cooking. Uh, I've got some snapper fillets here. It's a little assortment. We've got a little yellowtail, some mangrove snapper, and some mutton snapper. And I've been like doing this over my mind. How am I gonna cook this stuff up? And I've settled on it. We're gonna do fish tacos. Yep, you heard right. We're doing fish tacos. I've got all this right here for the tacos. We're going to blacken this snapper up and it's going to be delicious. So stay with me. Let's go. All right, you guys. So here are all our ingredients. As you can see here, we have our beautiful fillets of snapper. They're pretty much ready to go. They just need to be seasoned and we will get to that. Now for these tacos, my vision is I want to saute these three bell peppers, which I'm now going to set to the side. They're gonna be sauteed and they're gonna be the bed on the tortilla that our, our snapper will rest. As for everything else you see here, this is all going to be a part of the salsa. It's gonna be very much like a pico de gallo salsa. Um, however, we're substituting the tomato and a pico de gallo with a big, beautiful mango. And to bring in a butteriness to the salsa, we're gonna add this beautiful avocado. So everything's gonna come together and it is going to be spectacular. Can't wait to share it with you guys. So. We're going to just get started on prepping all our ingredients, getting everything set up, and I'll be back so you guys can see putting together. All right, you guys. So we have all our ingredients prepared for the salsa, and that's just what we're going to do. We're going to put the salsa together. So got our bowl here. We're going to start with our onion. Now, I use the white onion. You can use red onion. You can use yellow onion. Whatever onion you want, feel free to use. I personally feel that I like white onion's flavor a little bit better. Red onion is just a tad too strong for my tastes. Um, a yellow onion or a sweet onion would also be very delicious for this. It gives it a nice crispness um, and a little bit of a bite. So it's very nice. Now we have the mango because what's better with snapper than a mango salsa? This is basically a pico de gallo recipe. However, we are adding a new ingredient and substituting a traditional ingredient. Traditional pico de gallo, of course, is uh, onions, um, tomatoes, jalapenos, uh, lime, and salt, pepper, and of course, cilantro. What we're doing is we are substituting the tomatoes with the mango, and we're adding this here, this beautiful avocado. So we're gonna go ahead and add the avocado in. And that's going to give this just this kind of a buttery taste. And I didn't think it would be a good idea either until somebody told me I had to try it. I tried it and you guys, this is how it's done. This is amazing. You guys are going to love it. Next up, we have our beautiful, look at those jalapenos. Oh man, they're going to be so good. Let's just scoop those right in. There we go. Got the jalapenos in. And last but not least, we have our lime juice. This is about a tablespoon and a half, maybe two tablespoons. Um, I went through uh, three limes for it. So we're gonna just pour that in there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a mix. Just kind of incorporate everything, just like that but we have one more ingredient. We have to add our cilantro. So I'm gonna take this and I got my chef's knife and we are just going to give it a fine, good trim. I have pets that are causing mischief playing with each other. So I've got some big leaves. We'll just jump in real quick and I'm gonna all that right there. Take this, and now let's begin to truly incorporate this. So you guys may have just seen I just made a mess, 
But you know what? If you're if you're not making a mess while you're cooking, are you really cooking? You know, you just gotta live in and enjoy it. And oh man, guys, just look at that. That looks delicious. It's so islandy and tropical. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. And I mean, it's gonna be superb. So, it's bon appetit. Mmm. So good, you guys. So good. Now, our salsa is done. We're gonna take and I am going to cover the salsa real quick. And we're gonna put it in the refrigerator. So, stays nice and cool, perfect, ready to go. And we're gonna get started on sauteing out those bell peppers and cooking up that snapper. And I will see you back for that. All right, you guys, we got our fish here. These beautiful little fillets. Can't wait to uh, get these cooked up and chow down. You know what I mean? But before we can do anything, we've got to trim these up and we gotta season them. We're gonna season these up with a little pulpidone magic. You know, a little black and red fish magic. It's one of my favorite stuff for fish. But first, I'm gonna trim these up. So I've got my little paring knife here. All you need to trim these up is a little paring knife. You don't need to take out the big fillet knife and you don't need to take out a big chef's knife. This is just fine. And so for these, I'm just going to, you can actually see there's a bit right here where the muscle kind of differentiates. And I'm just gonna bring my knife through that go and just kind of just trim these up like so I just want to make these small nugget portions of fish and I'm prop I'll go through and I will trim these up further all right so we have our pieces of fish into these bite night bite-sized nuggets and I am going to take these and we're gonna just lay them out and use our seasoning all right you guys we've got our fish seasoned up so now let's get over to the pan and let's get it hot all right you guys there we go gotta make sure that camera's good so we have our fish all seasoned up. We also have our bell peppers, which really, when I say saute, we am, we're gonna hit it with a, a little bit of an oil here, and then we're gonna put these in. So let me go ahead and, so we're gonna go ahead and hit this one, and we're just gonna go ahead and just pour in all that pepper. I'm just, just gonna kinda Spread it out a little bit, see? Spread it out. Let it heat. I'm just gonna keep our eyes on that one. Ooh, that was close. And this one, we've got that on medium. We actually need this up a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and hit this one with a touch of olive oil. I'll go ahead and kinda get that to spread around. That's pretty good. Hot. Let's go ahead and we're gonna start laying in our fish. And I didn't get this on camera and I should have, but you do need to put like a little butter or oil on the fish before you season it. Um, I didn't get that on camera when I did that, so I do apologize. We're not doing that. Just kind of get that in there. We're just gonna find the space, get all the fish, and just work it in there. All right, we have our fish cooking. We have our peppers going. We're gonna give the peppers a little bit of attention. Mmm, that aroma, it's already hitting me. It's gonna be so good. Really kind of get these down the fish 
I'm gonna hit with just a little bit more oil. And guys, this is just olive oil. Just olive oil, you guys. And just let that go and cook. We're gonna go ahead and start kind of flipping these over. Forks are like mini spatulas, in a sense. So, they come in real handy when you have small nuggets. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start getting these guys out. And look at that. Oh man, look at that, they're falling apart, you guys. They are just falling apart. I can't wait to uh, get in on those. That's what you want. All right, you guys, you just wanna kinda warm these tortillas up. And just like that, you wanna get that. All right, you guys, so we've got our stations all set up. We have our tortillas laid out. They've been heated and warmed. Now I made a nice sriracha aioli. And we are going to just take that and just right down the middle just like a little taco sauce I'm just kind of smooth that out there we go just like that it's gonna be a nice little source of heat now for our tacos we have our beautiful soft sauteed bell peppers and so I just want to take a little and just make a little bitty oop, if I can catch them make a bed there we go just like that now that we've have our lay the pieces of fish in like so Ooh, look at this one that's beautiful black and nice beautiful pieces of snapper and just just like that now of course give this a little bit more of a stir you know it's not done not until we top it with this beautiful mango salsa. Really want to make sure we get that, all that goodness, those mangoes, onions, everything in there. Look at that. Guys, look at these fish tacos. Tell me, they don't look amazing. Absolutely. And you know what's best? They come with an adult beverage. <laughs> so, of course, you can't have this without an adult. Oh, oh. I forgot the most important part of the adult beverage. You can't have a land shark without a line. There we go. Now we got our land shark and. trick that I learned. Cut the lime like that. Take a lime and just, oh yeah. You know that's gonna be good. That's gonna be so good. Oh man. All right, well.
Mm. Let's dig in. Ooh. Mm. Mm. This is amazing. You guys, I'm telling you guys now, you go fishing and you get mangrove snapper, this is what you make. Hands down. Guys, if you like this video, throw a like down there. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. Comment for any other recipes, anything you want me else to try. We're gonna be doing this too. This is gonna be a new thing for Jigs Overboard. And live the overboard life. And I'll catch you guys next time.